Welcome back. I actually recorded this video earlier today, but then I realized my microphone wasn't plugged in, and I won't name names in, in terms of who unplugged it. But anyway, back to probability. My wife is giggling mischievously. Anyway, so let's do a slightly harder problem than we did before. We, we were dealing with fair coins. Let's deal with a slightly unfair coin. Let's say I have a coin, and it's uh, actually instead of unfair coin, let's let's do basketball. Let's say I'm shooting free throws, and I have a free throw percentage of let's see, free throw percentage is 80 percent. So when I shoot a free throw, eight out of ten times, or 80 percent of the time, I will make it. Uh, but that also says that 20 percent of the time I will miss it. So given that, if I were to take I don't know five free throws, what is the probability? What is the probability? that I make at least three of the five free throws. What is the probability? Well, let's think of it this way. What is the probability uh, of any particular combination of making three out of the five? So what do I mean by that? Well, let's pick, let me pick a particular combination. Let's say it's a basket, 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 and then I miss, miss. So that would be, you know, I made three out of the five. It could be, I don't know, basket, miss, basket, miss, basket. And there's a bunch of them, and we'll actually try to figure out how many of them there are. But what is the probability of, of this particular combination? Well, I have an 80% chance of making this first basket times 80%. That's a times right there, times 80%. And then what's my probability of missing? Well, that's 20%, right? Times 0.2 times 0.2. So this equals 0.8 to the third power times 0.2 squared. Well, what's the probability of getting this exact combination? Well, it's a 0.8 times, and then I miss. That's, there's a 20% chance of that. So times 0.2 times 0.8 times 0.2 times 0.8, right? We could rearrange this, because when you multiply numbers, it doesn't matter what order you multiply them in. So this is the same thing as 0 0.8 times 0 0.8 times 0 0.8 times 0 0.2 times 0 0.2. So this is also the same thing as 0 0.8 to the third times 0.2 squared. So pretty much any particular, the probability of getting any particular combination of three uh, baskets and two misses is going to be 0 0.8. 8 to the third times 0.2 squared. Now, what's the total probability of getting 3 out of 5? Well, it's going to be the sum of all of these combinations. You know, I could list them all, but we hopefully now are proficient enough in, in, in combinatorics and combinations to figure out how many different ways, if we have five baskets and we're picking, or we have five shots, and we're picking three of them to be the ones that are basket shots. So, what do I mean? So, let's say my, my five shots, so you know, I have shot one. Two, three, four, five. And I'm going to, out of these five, I'm going to choose three. So I'm once again I'm putting my hat on as the god of probability. And I will choose three of these shots to be the ones that happen to be um, the ones that get made. So essentially out of five, out of five, I am choosing three. Five choose three. And what is that equal to? That's five factorial over 3 factorial times 5 minus 3 factorial. So that's 2 factorial. And that equals 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 3 times 2 times 1 times 2 times 1. We can ignore all the 1's. Let's see, we get 3 times 2 times 1, 3 times 2 times 1. We can cancel that. This 1 we can ignore. and then. This two, and then this turns into two. So there are ten possible combinations. These are two of them. You know, basket, 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 miss, miss, basket, miss, basket, miss, basket. And you know, that's a, it's a good exercise for you to list the other eight of them. But using just our, you know, the binomial coefficient, and hopefully you have an intuition of why that works. And I'd, I'd be happy to make more videos if you feel that, that you need more explanation. But there, I made a couple. There are ten combinations. So essentially, the probability of getting exactly three out of five baskets, if I am an 80% uh, free throw shot, is going to be, let me switch colors, the probability of three out of five baskets is going to be equal to, 
the probability of each of the uh, combinations, right, which is 0.8 to the third, 0.8 to the third times 0.2 squared, right? I make, I make three, miss two, and then times the total number of combinations, right? Each of these has a probability of this much, and then there's ten different arrangements that I could make. There's ten different ways of getting three baskets and two misses. So times ten, and what does that equal to? Let me get my my high-end calculator here. So let's see what that is. That is 0.8 times 0.8 times 0.8 times 0.2 times 0.2 times 10 equals 20.48. So it's essentially a 20.48% chance that I get exactly three out of five of the baskets. Now let's say if let's let's make it a slightly more interesting. Let's say I don't want to know the probability of three out of the five, and, and this is actually something that probably people are more likely to ask. What is the probability? What is the probability of getting at least three? At least three baskets. Well, if you think about it, this is the probability. This is equal to the probability of getting three out of five baskets plus the probability of getting exactly four out of five baskets plus the probability of getting exactly five out of five baskets, right? Well, we already figured this one out. That's 20.48%. So what's the probability of getting four out of five baskets? Well, once again, what is for, what, if, if we want exactly four out of five baskets, so you know, an example could be, I don't know, miss mi, uh, basket basket, basket, basket. What's the probability of any one of the combinations where I make four baskets? Well, it's going to be 0.8 to the fourth times my, and then I have a 20% chance of that one miss, right? And it, you know, it could have been basket, miss, basket, 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 right? That's the same. That's also exactly four. But when you multiply them, the probability of getting any one of these particular combinations is exactly this, 0.8 to the fourth times 0.2. And so how many ways can you, if, if I have five baskets, how many ways can I pick four of them to be the ones that I make if I'm, once again, the god of probability? So this, this is going to be 0.8 to the fourth times 0.2 times 0.2 times, out of five baskets, I'm choosing four that I'm going to make. So this is the number of combinations where I get four out of the five. So what does five choose four? That's five factorial over four factorial times one factorial. Well that equals that equals just five. You can work that out. So it's going to be so let's just figure this out. So it's going to be point eight times point eight times point eight. That's three times 0.8, that equals, no, did I do that right? Let's see, 0.1, point 0.8, point 0.8 times 0.8, yeah, that's right, times 0.2, times 5, times 5. So 40.96%. So this is 40.96%. So roughly 41% chance that I get exactly four out of five baskets, which is interesting because that's kind of my free throw percentage. So you know it's almost a little less, you know, a two-thirds shot of, of kind of hitting my free throw percentage on the mark on that time. And that's probably of getting five out of five. Well, there's only one way of getting five out of five. You get have to get all five of them. So this is 0.8 to the fifth power. Let me get the calculator back. So it's 0.8 times point. Oh, we times point eight times point eight times point eight times point eight equals point three two seven six. So point three. So thirty two point seven seven percent shot. And then we can add them all up, right? Because we want the probability of at least three. So it's going to be that, the probability of getting five out of five, plus the probability of getting a four out of five, which is 
0.4096 plus the probability of getting 3 out of 5. So that's 0.2048 equals 0.94208. So 94.21, roughly rounding, percent chance, which makes sense. If I have an 80% free throw uh, a percentage on any one shot, I have a very high probability of getting at least three out of five uh, when I go to the free throw line. Anyway, I'm all out of time. I'll see.